a spinning wheel has eight equal sectored eight sectors numbered one to eight. So imagine this is a spinning wheel uh, which is equal with equal sectors and they're numbered from one to eight. One on one spin <clears throat> of the wheel, find the following probability. So you spill, uh, sorry, you spin the wheel, and you want to find the probabilities of these events happening. So the first question is, what is the probability of getting seven? So this is how you read p bracket seven means, what is the probability of getting seven? Well, as it is equal, the uh, the uh, the sectors are equal, the probability of getting 7 would be 1 out of 8 because there are 8 possible outcomes. Okay, so there are, and 7 is 1 out of the outcome, so the probability is 1 out of 8. That's simple, so this is done. So question B, what is the probability of getting even number? What is the probability of getting even number? So let me write the even numbers first here. So the even numbers are Suppose from 1 to 8, in this experiment, if you're doing this experiment, there are, which are the even numbers? The even numbers are 2, 4, 6, and 8. There are four possible outcomes which are even number. So probability of getting even number is 4. This, these are the numbers which are even. So the probability of getting an even number is 4 out of 8. And I hope you understand logically that is half. So... When you spin a wheel, you are e either going to get an even number or an odd number. So the odd number, so let me also write the odd numbers. The odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7. So if you spin a wheel, there's either probability of getting even or odd. So this is probability of getting even is 4 out of 8. Okay, for question C. Not even. Not even means this is probability of getting odd. This means probability of getting odd. So probability of not even. <clears throat> so that's a negative sentence. So if you want to write the same thing as a positive st uh, statement, that is probability of getting an odd number. So odd number is same, 4 out of 8, which is 1 half. Okay. Now, the next is probability of getting, so let me change color, probability of getting a multiple of 3. So multiple of 3. So let's which are the multiples of 3 between 1 to 8. Multiples of 3. Multiples of 3 are 1. Sorry, the multiples of 3 are not 1. It is 3, 6, 3 and 6. Okay, so out of between 1. So 3 is a multiple of 6. Sorry, 3 is a multiple of 3. And 6 is a multiple of 3. So 3 and 6 are the multiples. So for question D, I'm di directly write the answer. Uh, the probability of getting, so let me write it, probability of getting multiple of 3. So there are two possible outcomes which are multiples of 3. That means you, if you get 3 or 6, you get uh, their multiples of 3. So multiple of 3 would be 2 out of 8. 2 out of 8, you can simplify that as a quarter. Or this in, in terms of a percent, this is 25% chance. Now a factor of 12. So let me write the factors of 12. The factors of 12 are the numbers that you can divide 12 by. So you can divide 12 by 1. Okay, the factors of 12 are factors of 12 are 1. 1 is a factor of 12. Then you can divide 2 by 12 by 2. Then you can divide 12 by 3, then you can divide 12 by 4, and then uh, 6 by 12, or 12 by 6, sorry. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6 are, and of course, <coughs> all the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. But from 1 to 8, these are the factors of uh, 12. So probability of getting... What's the question? Probability of getting factor of 12. Factor of 12 would be how much? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that will be 5 out of 8. 5 out of 8 is the probability of getting factors of 12. Okay, the next question, F. Odd or a factor of 12. 
okay so which are odd or factors of 12 so so which are odd or fact it's not and or so you got one three five seven from odd and so one is already repeated so one is already repeated three is repeated okay so you got one two three four five six seven okay so directly i'll write the answer here odd or factors of 12 are which are the outcomes which will give me this event odd or factor so first i'll count the odd numbers so one three five seven then i don't have to count this one and three because it's already already repeated here so we've got one three five seven so one two three four five six seven so that would be seven out of eight so this is seven out of eight there's only one number which is not uh, odd or factor of 12 which is eight eight is not a factor of 12 or an odd number that's why it's seven out of eight both odd both odd and factors of 12 so we want to find the numbers which are uh, odd and factors of 12 they are one and three okay for the so for the last it will be two out of eight which is one quarter